Now on to burettes. The burette is used to deliver um, accurate but variable volumes, example for when you're doing titrations. To fill the burette, first thing you need to do is ensure that the stopcock is closed. And use a funnel to help avoid spillage. Now make sure that you don't overfill the funnel or you end up uh, overflowing your burette. And remove the funnel so that you don't have other drops falling in accidentally, which would throw off your reading. Okay, let's just bring this up a little. Now you need to drain off a little bit to get rid of all the air bubbles. Still got some in there. Okay. Now you're ready to take your first reading. So you need an initial reading before you start pipetting. And to assist with that, you can use a meniscus reader, just a card with a black line on it, and it helps you see where the uh, level of the meniscus is. And you want to read that right at the bottom of the meniscus. And you should be taking a reading to um, two decimal places. So in this case, we have approximately 15.70 milliliters. So that will be our initial reading. And then you drain simply by turning the stopcock. When operating the stopcock, ensure that you uh, are supporting it with one hand while you turn the stopcock with the other hand, because uh, some of them are pretty tight and the pressure can actually snap it right off. And then you take your final reading. In this case, we have 39.25 milliliters. And again, as with the pipette, you want to touch the tip to the side of the flask to make sure that you've got any uh, drips that are remaining. And the total volume is simply the final reading minus the initial reading. And make sure that you record your readings to two decimal places. And that's it for burettes.